We're very stoked about this next act. He, he has big things planned, I've heard. Uh, give it up for Dave Malinsky, everybody. He's a great, great performer and writer. Dave Malinsky. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks so much. Okay. When, in the course of human events, it becomes necessary to reject the narratives and institutions that make up contemporary existence, it is vital to define those new ones that will replace them and justify the necessity of that change. This process is called mimetic evolution and is the foundation for the histories of ideas and institutions and thus human history itself. Even still, we do hold these truths to be self-evident. One, that all humans are born with inherent worth through the consciousness that is inherent in being alive. Two, that due to such consciousness and worth, they have inalienable rights. Among them are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Three, that institutions, private and public, sacred and secular, national and international, old and new, large and small, gain their justifications, their acceptance as legitimate and sovereign, through the consent of those humans, institutions, and narratives that interact with them. And that since humans are mortal, and narratives and institutions are not, humans have the equally inalienable right to alter or abolish them, forming new narratives and institutions that can better serve their rights, safety, and happiness. Whenever the process of, narr of mimetic evolution happens due to, whether that process happens due to deep and meaningful or idle and transient causes is irrelevant. It happens because human lives have stages, cycles, and spans, and their willingness to accept the world in which they live and love is not guaranteed. Indeed, the goals of many institutions and narratives is to secure that willingness. Yet humans are questioning creatures, beast machines with reason. Through growth, through grow going through developmental stages, the human capacity for reason develops. That's what growth is, unless that growth is stopped. Institutions and narratives have the capacity to stop growth. They do so through the management of the individual's emotions and consequent, and consequent identity formation. Politics and relationships. Human interaction itself becomes most exciting and terrifying when this process no longer succeeds. For much ink and even more tears and blood are spilled when mimetic evolution interacts with institutions of authority. That's what a revolution is. Revolutions occur when current institutions and narratives are unable to establish legitimacy due to mimetic evolution, especially due to active rejection of it. We are currently within the lutist revolution. Let this work and what I've done before and another one I'm going to do later serve as its manifesto. Thank you. Dave Malinsky is on YouTube. Subscribe to his YouTube page. <clears throat> DM Man 33. DM Man 33. Give it up, give it up, give it up one more time for Dave Belinsky, everybody. Getting <laughs> that heavy information. So smart. Something to think about, something to get the brain firing. We're just getting warmed up. We have so many.